everybody. I'm Barbara Billet here at the Billet Collins Studio. Today, Kelly is filming and I'm behind the bar giving you information about gilding. Hey, you guys. Today, we have um, some old bookends that Kelly had. This was the original. I've started doing some of the gilding on it, but you can see it's a very rough um, cast plaster bookend. And on the finished one, you can see that we've left all the dark nooks and crannies, and you can make decisions about how you want to do this, the look you want. First decision is you have to think about what metal you're going to use. Is it copper, silver, gold? Is it imitation gold, also called Dutch gold, which would come in a five and a half inch, roughly, box? You can see the word imitation. It's kind of the tape got and, it off there. And what is imitation? Imitation, it's still metal leaf. Here's a piece of the patent. Um, but it's not pure gold. It has other metals in it, alloys that, um, boy, I don't really know what that alloy thing is, but whatever. Other, me other metals. And the pure golds, for instance, this one is 3 and 3 eighths inch square. And that is 23 karat gold. Mm -hmm. So that's almost pure gold. So all the golds, they come in a range from like 9 carat up to 24 carat. It would be warmer and more silver if you chose a lower carat. Today we're using imitation gold. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. So there are different colors of gold? Different col colors because depending on how much gold versus how much silver, and I'm really not sure what the other metals are, sorry. Um, it changes the color. Wow. They, they become, if there's more copper in there, it can be orange -er looking. If it's more silver in there, it's a uh, just a warm silver look with the gold or like, like a, a blue gold, like a platinum. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And the other choice you think about is if you're using patent. Patent leaf is what we're using today. It is stuck to, barely, this piece of tissue paper versus loose leaf that is, in fact, um, loose in here. Let's see if I can get one. We've used a lot of them. And that is much trickier to work with. So today, just for this, this is not attached to, um, to the paper. So you pull it out with your you, hands and put it you on? You actually use this gilder's tip. Oh. Typically, you would um, have something on your wrist that would give it some... Static Sticky. electricity, oh. yeah, which I don't have. I'm not prepared for that today, but and these have been sitting long enough that they don't have. You see people use their hair, uh -huh. a little oil in the hair. We'll show that on a different day. Okay. Today we're doing the patent. I have already applied sizing. We're not doing water gilding today. Water gilding is when you use an adhesive made from gelatin. But today we're doing an aqua size. And sizing means? Sizing is glue. glue. Okay. And the trick is, and I can't stress enough, thin, a very thin layer of glue you want on. Otherwise, it sticks in here and it gets all gummy. Yeah. Not good. Then the gold gets in there and gets clumpy. So I just use a very inexpensive brush. It, particularly on this one, it's not a concern. This is a rough bristle, and they, they show a little bit um, in the glue. So just try and apply it really carefully. If you want something smoother, use a nice soft bristle brush. This piece has two coats on just the, the back side I've just started. And um, I got a little overzealous and got started before I got the camera going. So let me just show you here. I've cut a piece with scissors. We're going to put it right on here and watch the... Uh, just give it a nice rub with your finger and then pull the paper back, oh, and there it is. Wow. And again, a very clean, dry, soft brush. That's best to let it dry for maybe half an hour, an hour, really let it adhere, depending on the size of the piece before you start. The leaf, you will let it? You let the leaf dry, dry. Oh, uh huh. Interesting. And um, you would wait, you'd finish the whole project, right? and then give it, give it at least an hour. Uh -huh. You'll just be happier that way, and then, brush the skewings off. I'm, I'm starting it now just to show you where I've overlapped places. Uh -huh. And there's no glue. Right. Yeah. 
And those little flakes are called skewings. Skewings. Uh, and that's... Uh, awesome. So where else would you do some gold leaf like this? It would be great on a piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. You could do an inlay. You could do the feet. You could do carvings. Oh, the feet um, would be cute. Be very pretty. You can think of um, ceilings, mm -hmm. walls. If you're doing something like that, you can get metal leaf, and it comes in a roll, mm -hmm. large, long rolls. Mm -hmm. This particular one is aluminum leaf, mm -hmm. which looks like silver leaf, but much less expensive. And you can use that on your ceiling or very your nice. walls. And what about, now this color of gold, you know, I love gold. Yeah. It's kind of new to me, though. So this was me, 2019. Yeah. And this is me, 2020. Um, but this is still kind of a little freshy for me. It what is. What would you do? You can easily put a glaze on this to tone it down. Oh. When you're using um, Dutch metal, imitation mm -hmm. metals, you really don't get much of a choice. The, right. the color is the color. And so to shift it. I once did um, a little flower pot in aluminum leaf mm -hmm. and used an orange shellac on it afterward. It turned, oh, the color was just beautiful. Yeah. It really was pretty. So yeah. that's one. So otherwise, if you like the color, you would use a clear shellac to protect it. Quite honestly, I don't usually put anything on them. They stay really well. This is an example of um, back painted glass. A platter that I had that had a pattern embossed on it, mm -hmm. pressed into it. Mm -hmm. And I gilded the back of it, mm -hmm. and this is the front surface. Oh, so you can still serve on it. I can serve on it. I can. I wash it by hand. I don't put it in the dishwasher, mm -hmm. but I wash it by hand, and including the back. Right. It, it, it just works beautifully. And it doesn't tarnish? Maybe a little bit, because this, again, was imitation gold. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want it not to tarnish and you don't want to seal it, you would use a better gold. Right. So the um, imitation gold might tarnish. Might tarnish. It has. And it should be sealed to it keep it from sealed. tarnishing. Clear shellac. I'm thinking about my records upstairs. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And then the um, real gold, you don't have to you worry don't have about to. it tarnishing no. the same way. Yeah, you would, and you would be concerned about scratching. Right. But even this, because of the nubs on it and putting mm -hmm. it on tables and rubbing it back and forth, it, it has not been an issue. And this right. was done with water sizing. Oh, water building. Sizing. Excellent. All right. Well, if people have more questions, where should they go? Info at BillaCollins.com. And if they want to find inspiration on entertaining at home and making a beautiful house surrounded by art? BillaCollins.com. Excellent. The website, you can look for us on Pinterest, Instagram, check out our Facebook. That's right. All right. And our website. And what comes tomorrow? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Tomorrow at 1 o'clock. See, See you guys then. Bye-bye. <laughs>